So the best way to treat acute mountain sickness is to just stay at home and uh, eat bonbons on your couch. That works. But if you're going to go to a high place, you definitely want to think about the rate of ascent. And obviously, the faster you go higher, the worse AMS can be. Now, not everybody responds the same to altitude. People are really variable in terms of their response to altitude. Some people go to 12,000 feet and they feel perfect. And some people go to 8,000 feet and they feel terrible. And in fact, a great way to describe AMS in terms of a clinical analog is it feels kind of like a hangover. Now, I'm sure none of you have ever had a hangover, but it's a lot like AMS. And the simplest way to prevent AMS is just to go up more slowly. For somebody that doesn't really know how they respond to altitude, and of course there are a lot of climbers that go a lot faster than this, but for somebody who's never been to altitude, really isn't sure, I would say never climb higher than about 2,000 feet per day sleeping altitude above 10,000 feet. And the reason I say sleeping altitude is because a lot of people will go, you know, that 2,000 foot thing, that's not true. Uh, I climb peaks in Colorado all the time that are 14,000 feet and I go up from 6,000 and I'm fine. But they're not sleeping at those altitudes. So when you spend a night at altitude, you tend to get sick if you've gone up more than about 2,000 feet per day. Now, humans are variable. There are some people that have trouble going more than 1,000 feet per day. But I would say a maximum of 2,000 feet per day uh, for anybody that's not accustomed to going high. Another thing you can do to prevent altitude illness is just take it easy the first day or two. And that sounds like it could be just an urban legend, but it's true. And it turns out that relaxing your first day or two at altitude so you get to the new ski area rather than going out and just busting it up your first day, just chill out, let yourself acclimatize for a day or so before you go out and really exert.